Assalamu alaikum Dear students, there is a SLO 8.2.4 from the chapter number 8 chemical reactivity so again uh, there is a SLO 8.2.5 uh, so first we have to discuss this one uh, describe the physical and chemical properties of sodium calcium and magnesium with respect to their position on the periodic table it means we have to mention their position in the periodic table and also we have to discuss the physical and chemical properties of these three elements so here is a, a written compression of physical properties of alkali and alkaline earth metals so uh, sodium magnesium and calcium sodium is the alkali metals of the group number one elements while magnesium and calcium is the uh, alkaline earth metals of the group number two elements so here is the written physical properties first we have to discuss the physical properties then we have to discuss the chemical properties so these are the chemical properties so according to the SLO first we have to discuss the physical properties then we have to discuss the chemical properties so in physical properties we will discuss appearance size relative density malleability conductivity melting point boiling point ionization energy flame in the air so these are the major topics which are related with the physical and with the physical properties so appearances sodium uh, according uh, um, uh, the properties of sodium silvery white having a metallic luster means shining very soft sodium is a very soft metal and can be cut with a knife so we can cut with a knife and now the magnesium silvery white and hard so this is also silvery white but uh, it is a little bit hard than the sodium calcium silvery gray and fairly harder so these are the properties of the sodium magnesium and calcium according to the appearances now the atomic size so <coughs> uh, sodium having atomic size uh, and ionic size uh, 86102 so this is the size of the sodium measured value and uh, now the size of magnesium is less than the sodium because when we move from left to right size decreases because nuclear charge increases number of protons increases in the nucleus so uh, uh, again this is the uh, calcium so calcium is uh, uh, first is the magnesium then after magnesium below there will be the calcium because both elements are same group so from top to bottom atomic size increases so magnesium has less size than the calcium why because uh, both are the same group elements if we move, move from top to bottom size increases so for that calcium has a greater size than the uh, magnesium so relative density so already we discussed that uh, it is a soft sodium is a soft so having the a less density than the magnesium so fluids on water because of the less density this is the density of magnesium and this is the density of calcium now the malleability uh, so malleability and conductivity so very malleable and ductile having shining malleable malleable means split into sheets when we hit the metal it will split into sheets so magnesium malleable and ductile so now malleable and ductile according to the calcium so these uh, three are malleable and ductile so now the conductivity good conductor of heat and we know well that all the metals are good conductor of heat and electricity because of the free moving electrons in the outermost shell 
so these all three are the good conductor of heat and electricity now the melting point so the melting point of uh, sodium is a uh, 97 degrees uh, celsius because of the soft nature of the sodium now the magnesium magnesium having having uh, 650 degrees celsius and the calcium having 839 degrees celsius now the boiling point so sodium has less boiling point than the magnesium and the calcium so again ionization energy as we know from left to right from left to right ionization energy increases why because of the nuclear charge increases attraction increases size decreases so top to bottom ionization energy decreases when we move from top to bottom suppose this one in the top and this one will be below of this one so calcium is below of magnesium so magnesium having uh, ionization energy uh, greater than the calcium because top to bottom ionization energy decreases why because of the a nuclear charge decreases and a number of shale increases so these are the ionization energies a flame in air uh, sodium having golden yellow flame in the air while the brilliant white brick red so here are the elements in first two groups of the periodic table group 1a and group 2a are called as alkali and alkaline earth metals so in the previous lecture we discussed that the one a group are called as alkali metals group two are called as alkaline earth metals respectively alkali metals are extremely reactive elements because of their ns1 valence shell electronic configuration and when we mark the electronic configuration of the group number one a elements they will acquire ns1 electronic configuration it means a group one a contains a one electron in the outermost shell while group 2a contains uh, two electrons in the outermost shell so uh, as there uh, is only one electron in the valence shell it can be easily given out so one electron can easily be lost um, uh, by the atom and this is the reason that they are always found in the nature as the cation plus one so as we know when atom lose electron it having positive one charge means cation so oxidation state is a plus one therefore uh, they readily form salt with the non-metals when the group 1a or 2a elements react with the other elements such as the 7a group elements and they form the salt such as sodium chloride sodium bromide sodium iodide calcium chloride the uh, alkaline earth metals atoms are similar and have more nuclear charge because when left to right when we move so lithium is the group 1a or sodium is the group 1a and from left to right magnesium is the group number 2a so similarly from left to right ionization energy decreases nuclear charge increases they have two electrons in the valence shell in uh, nf2 so they are uh, also reactive but less than the alkali metals so 1a is a more reactive 2a is the less reactive elements now here the uh, chemical properties we have to discuss them after the physical properties there are the chemical properties of the alkali and alkaline earth metals so <clears throat> uh, first occurrences so as we know the alkali and alkaline earth metals they are always in the combined state always reactive elements more reactive combined with other elements to form different compounds so they are very reactive and always occur in the combined form they are fairly reactive and also occur in the combined form both are in the combined form uh, they react with any element to form different types of the compounds so electropositivity one a groups are elements more electropositive than the two a actually both are the electropositive because both uh, elements lose the electrons so here these are highly electropositive and they have ionization high have ionization energy values ranging from uh, 520 kilojoule per mole uh, from lithium to uh, 376 kilojoule per mole for the physium 
तो हेयर दे आर लेस इलेक्ट्रोपॉजिटिव दे हैव आयोनाइजेशन एनर्जी वैल्यूज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम सेवनटीन फाइव सेवन क्लोजूल पर मोल फॉर बेरियल टू नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव क्लोजूल पर मोल फॉर द बेरियम बिकॉज फ्राम लेफ्ट टू राइट वेन यू मूव आयोनाइजेशन एनर्जी इनक्रीज सो टू हैव एलिमेंट्स ग्रुप हैव एलिमेंट्स हाई आयोनाइजेशन एनर्जीज देन द ग्रुप नंबर वन एलिमेंट्स रिएक्शन विद द वाटर सो हेयर दे रिएक्ट विद द वाटर विगोरसली एट रूम टेम्परेचर टू गिव स्ट्रॉन्ग अल्कालाइन सोल्यूशन एंड हाइड्रोजन गीज सो वेन ग्रुप नंबर वन एलिमेंट्स रिएक्ट विद द वाटर दे फॉर्म बेस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बेस एंड ऑलवेज रिलीज द हाइड्रोजन गैस सो हेयर दे रिएक्ट विद द वाटर लेस विगोरसली एंड ऑन हीटिंग दे प्रोड्यूस वीक बेस दे ऑलवेज रिएक्ट ग्रुप नंबर एलिमेंट्स विद द वाटर एंड प्रोड्यूस द वीक बेस अलॉन्ग विद रिलीज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन गैस सो नाउ the fourth number reaction with the oxygen so they immediately uh, turnation here giving their oxides which form the strong alkalis in water so when they react with the oxygen they form alkalis sodium oxide these alkalis further react with the water to form the sodium hydroxide uh, base so again here they are less reactive uh, towards oxygen so to a group also react but the less reactive are uh, formed on the heating these oxides when reacted with the water from the weak alkali so magnesium react with the oxygen from magnesium oxide again magnesium oxide react the water to form magnesium hydroxide is the uh, base so five number reaction with the hydrogen they form ionic hydrides with the hydrogen at the high temperature so sodium or uh, calcium magnesium from group element 1a or 2a when react with the hydrogen they form the hydrides of hydrogen means ionic hydrides when sodium react with the hydrogen they form sodium hydride uh, when uh, uh, lithium react with the hydrogen to form lithium hydride when potassium react with the hydrogen they form potassium hydride uh, now the uh, calcium when group number 2a elements when group number 2a elements such as the calcium react with the hydrogen they form calcium hydride so reaction with the halogen and they react uh, violently with the halogens at room temperature to give halides such as sodium react with the chlorine to form sodium chloride and uh, uh, potassium react with the chlorine to form potassium chloride they react slowly with the halogens to give their halides to a group also react with the halogen but uh, slowly to form calcium chloride a reaction with the nitrogen they do not form nitrides directly so, but here they form nitrides directly they form stable nitrides uh, when heated with the nitrogen magnesium react with the nitrogen to form magnesium nitride reaction with the carbon they do not react with the carbon directly group number 1 elements while here they give stable uh, carbides on heating with the carbon calcium react with the carbon to form calcium carbide uh, now there the another is hello 8.2.5 discuss the uses of sodium magnesium and calcium in the daily life so there is a uses of sodium uses of magnesium uses of the calcium so first we have to uh, read number 1 sodium potassium alloy means the mixture of sodium potassium is called alloy alloy is the combination of metals is used as a coolant in the nuclear reactors it means a uh, coolant means a usually fluid cooling agent so sodium work as a cooling agent it is used to produce the yellow light in a sodium vapors lamp uh, so uh, we can use uh, sodium as a uh, light um, in the sodium vapor lamps it is used as a reducing agent a reducing means reduce other uh, elements and oxidize itself in the extraction of metals during the extraction of metals like the ti titanium so uses uh, so again uh, there are some other uh, uses of the sodium such as uh, sodium 
uh, mixed with the potassium from a liquid alloy here we discussed and uh, again sodium is also used in sodium lamps to illuminate highways which is uh, again here discussed uh, again uh, the petroleum industry utilizes sodium in the production of anti knock compounds for the gasoline so these are also uh, uses of the uh, sodium now the uses of magnesium so magnesium is used in the flash lights bulbs and in the fireworks it is used in the manufacture of light alloys magnesium ribbon uh, is used in the thermite process to ignite the aluminum pow um, powder so magnesium is used as uh, anode for the uh, prevention of corrosion so during the electrolysis magnesium is used in the anode anodes are formed of the magnesium for the prevention of corrosion so there are many other uses of the magnesium uh, magnesium has uh, relatively uh, we can say that magnesium uh, is used in making lightweight alloy with aluminum that are used for making uh, frames of automobiles uh, aircrafts and uh, uh, spaceships uh, cameras etc so again uh, there is another compound magnesium hydroxide called as a milk of magnesia is com commonly used as anti acid so now the uses of calcium so it is used to remove the sulfur from the petroleum products so petroleum products uh, contain the sulfur where we use the calcium to remove the sulfur so it is used as a reducing agent to produce so in during the chemical reactions there we use the calcium which is uh, act as reducing uh, agent so here uh, to produce chromium uh, uranium and uh, zr so again here uh, we have this, uh, some uses of uh, uh, calcium such as uh, calcium is an important component of the teeth and bones so to make strong the teeth or bone where we use the calcium uh, compounds of calcium uh, again the calcium ions are found in all living cells so in living cells there are calcium ions present and they are involved in clotting of blood uh, proper calcium ions and potassium ions balance is required for the normal heart function so also these are the some uh, uses of the uh, calcium these two SLOs were discussed in this lecture so these uh, points were about the two SLOs.